It's a battle of seven and seven football teams. It's the Washington football team, our commanders, taking on the New York Giants. And this one, JT Daniels will get the start for the Washington football team. Decided to give themselves maybe a little bit of a different look here late in the season, battling for a playoff spot. Not going to be going with Taylor Heineke. It's going to be JT Daniels making his first career start against this New York Giants team, which is starting to surge late in the season. Second and 10, Daniels back in the pocket, throws this one over the middle. That's a completion to Diami Brown, and that'll be a first down for the football team. Now second and eight, Daniels, a little bit of a handoff here to Antonio Gibson. Gibson in the open field, and that's going to be another first down right here for Washington. Now they come back again, first and ten. Sort of just a little bit of a look here. Shotgun formation, there's Rob Gronkowski wide open. Xavier McKinney played up a little bit too much. Didn't recognize or respect Gronkowski. He gets over the top and they score a touchdown. So Giants, they trail early in this one. So Daniel Jones going to get things started for the Giants with a 14-yard run, picking up the first down. Now he comes back, second and five. Steps back to pass. Sort of shuffles his feet a little bit. Going to find Kenny Galladay. Galladay up the sideline here. Little juke, and that's going to be out of bounds at the 10. So now the Giants, a few plays in there in scoring position. Just one big play right there. So here's Daniel Jones, quarterback draw. That one doesn't work. Jonathan Allen going to come up hurt here. So now third and four. A uh, little shotgun look here. Daniel Jones on the run. Has a guy open, maybe. He decides just keep it himself into the end zone. Goes Daniel Jones. And this one is going to be tied up here. Daniel a little bit of a T-pose from Kadarius Tony right there. Maybe would have had them open for a throw. You never know with these defenders and how quickly they sort of just will warp into position sometimes it feels like. And Dan Jones just runs it across for a touchdown himself. So, JT Daniels going to get sacked here. Lawrence coming in with the sack right there, bringing him down. Second and 22 coming up. Now Daniels steps back again. Another shotgun formation. Look here. Throws this one up. This one, that just never had a shot. So now third and really long here. Daniels looking. Going to find Terry McLaurin underneath. There's Rob Gronkowski holding, but they don't call it because he's Gronk. Fourth and six, out would come the punt unit. So now Giants back with the football here. C.J. Verdell, nice run right there. Gets some couple nice, decent blocks, and he's able to pick up the first down. So now the Giants come back again. Daniel Jones going to find Slayton. Slayton here finds a little bit of a hole after the catch, and he's able to pick up some nice yardage after the catch there, and that will make it. That'll give the Giants a look here all the way at the 10, second and seven. Daniel Jones, he decides to just keep it himself into the end zone. He goes another rushing touchdown for Daniel Jones. As he is finishing off this season very strong. And, you know, you almost have to wonder, did the Giants, did they maybe make a mistake by only signing him to a one-year extension? Maybe should have given him a couple years. Third and 10. Daniels, he can't get anything on this drive, so another punt. For the football team, Giants back with the football. Daniel Jones looking, navigating the pocket, going to find Billingsley. Billingsley, wide open field here, and he's going to get brought down. Daniel Jones at this point in the game, 4 for 4, 110 yards. That's a nice stat line. Here's Devontae Booker, picks up around two yard, 4 yards on that run. Giants come back on 2nd and 6. Booker picks up another couple yards right there. Now third and one. So Giants, what do they do? They come right back again, run the football again, and Devontae Booker, three runs, 11 yards, picks up the first down right there. You like to see it. Second and nine, Daniel Jones going to find Kadarius Tony, breaks one tackle, and then gets brought down, but not before he picks up the first down. So here comes the Giants again. Daniel Jones looking, going to find Billingsley, shoves one man off. Going to be down at the six. Second and two coming up. 
So now handoff here to CJ Verdell. Wide open hole into the end zone goes CJ Verdell. And the Giants extend the lead out to 21 to 7. Some good run blocking here for the Giants. Finally starting to show up here as he is, you know, younger offensive linemen start to sort of, I think, gel together. I think that's what you're starting to see. So now here's JT Daniels. Big throw. There's Rob Gronkowski. Again gets upended at the 25. So now the football team going to come back. JT Daniels going to get chased and sacked. Demarcus Lawrence, or not Demarcus Lawrence, Dexter Lawrence coming in with a sack right there. Wish Demarcus Lawrence was on this team. So here is another throw here, Diami Brown, and they're going to convert on the second and 19, but there's a flag on the play, and it's going to be for roughing the passer, I believe on Aiden Hutchinson this time. Yes, they're going to call him for roughing the passer. Passer got there a step too late, third and goal. Blake Martinez with the big tackle right there. Filled the hole, filled the gap perfectly, and saved a touchdown. That's a big clutch play from Blake Martinez. You like to see it. Antonio Gibson thought he had a touchdown right there. Instead, no. Instead, Washington going to have to settle for a field goal here to make it an 11-point game. So now first to 10, Daniel Jones steps back. Shotgun formation. Going to take a shot deep here. It's Darius Slayton, he comes down with a touchdown. Giants with a big play through the air. That is something this offense has not had this season. Just haven't had the time sometimes to sort of get plays like that drawn up. And Slayton on the outside beats his man. And Daniel Jones delivers a nice little teardrop into the bucket right there of Darius Slayton. Big play for the Giants. So they get the ball here, second half now. Daniel Jones looking, navigating the pocket. Just going to keep it himself, takes off, and he slides this time. Very nice to see. As the Giants continue to drive down the field, second and ten now. Play action look. Daniel Jones throws this one deep, going for it all again. Slayton can't come down with it, or if he, does, if he did come down with it, he didn't keep his feet in bounds. So third and ten, Daniel Jones navigating the pocket here, just going to keep it himself, takes off, gets out of bounds, and that's one of the more frustrating things for defenses with Daniel Jones this season. He's been knowing when to use his legs. So now second and ten, Daniel Jones steps back, looks, and there is big, bad Jordan Davis bringing him down as if this Washington football team needed any more beasts on that defensive line. Third and 17 now. Daniel Jones looking, going to throw this one here, take a shot. Does he have it? Billingsley comes down with it. Touchdown Giants again, Jaleel Billingsley. The big play over the top of the defense here. And that's just a play that, once again, you just did not see early in the season. You really didn't see it last year. Sort of these shot plays that, you know, teams, I think, you know, this Giants team really couldn't run last year. 35 to 10 still on the score here. Daniel Jones going to find Kenny Galladay. He gets into the end zone. This one is just a blowout at this point. And just not the performance. This Washington football team that wants to get into the playoffs as that last wild card. It's not the performance they need right now. As, you know, coming into this one, 7-7 seven and seven on the year. Once again, another drive late in the game. Daniel Jones going to find Kadarius Tony as... Daniel Jones just on fire today. Kadarius Toney, his 15th receiving touchdown of the season. Going to make this one 49-10. Just not a performance. Ron Rivera and this Washington football team wanted to have or really could afford to have today. As this is just a downright beating at the hands of the New York Giants. So here's JT Daniels coming in here. Going to get sacked. Aiden Hutchinson, his second sack of the game. They're going to have a chance for one last play. This is just for, you know, I guess, to make yourself feel better. Daniels, he decides to just check it down instead of taking a shot at the end zone. And an up and down day for JT Daniels as the Giants are going to prove to 8-7 on the year as they defeat the Washington football team 
49 to 10. So time for stats. Daniel Jones, 14 for 7, 4 passing touchdowns. And then JT Daniels, 19 to 25, 233 yards. He had one passing touchdown. He was all right in this game. Uh, CJ Verdell, another big day, 24 carries, 110 yards. Daniel Jones, 9 carries, 75 yards, 2 rushing touchdowns for Jones. So a rushing touchdown for Verdell. Verdell. So in total, 3 rushing touchdowns on the day. Uh, very happy to see the run game start to come together. Kadarius Tony, his targets have been going down a little bit the past few weeks. and But we've just been able to get the ball to other guys, I think, a little more consistently. So I, I do like seeing that. Um, so yeah, really nice. Uh Offense has been humming pretty nicely, and I think our defense now starting to come together a little bit more as we're actually starting to get some more pressure. Uh, Aiden Hutchison with two sacks. Dexter Lawrence with three sacks on the day. Aziz Ojolari a sack. Um, we gave up one sack to Jordan Davis, which is, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, he's a big guy. He's going to get his stuff as well. He's going to get his uh, sacks and things like that. But no turnovers, which, uh, which is good. We didn't turn the ball over. Not so good that we didn't force any turnovers, but we really just shut down their offense uh, after those first uh, that first drive or two. Uh, so Alex Lindstrom, he's going to get an upgrade here. We're going to go power for him again. Once again, trying to really just get the run blocking of this team a lot better. Want to lean on the run game more. Uh, CJ Verdell, what a steal he's been for us. Uh, we're going to give him a, another upgrade here. Plus one agility, plus one awareness, and plus two change of direction. Very nice. So we take a look here at the playoffs and how they would unfold if they were to happen now. Um, right now, we are still sitting in the seventh seed. Um, we actually do have the ability now, actually. Instead of just being the seventh seed, we have a shot. We have a real opportunity here with a win over the Eagles to actually improve our seeding up to the five seed, actually, um, which would sort of be insane. We're going to need the Buccaneers to lose. Uh, yeah, we're going to need the Buccaneers to lose. I don't think we're fighting the uh, the Seahawks necessarily at all because the Seahawks, they lead the NFC West. So we have a shot to improve our seeding, go all the way up to five and potentially play, you know, a team that might be worse than us in the Seahawks. Um, so... Here we go here looking through here um the eagles are struggling you know trap game situation for sure and uh that's what uh, they're talking to us about here and i uh, can't overlook a divisional opponent for sure the eagles are struggling all players will have negative five break tackle and a bunch of other stuff now i'm not sure is that for them or us i don't i sort of forget with some of these things but either way things are really looking up for this team right now with a win over this Eagles team, we could go to 9-7 and seven and sort of be sitting there at the 5 seed instead of having to be the 7 and play a, a 2 seed, which would definitely give us a shot to actually, I, I don't know, potentially win a playoff game on Wild Card Weekend. So just the way this season started and the way it's now going is sort of just crazy to sort of see. But once again, I want to thank you guys for watching this series. Be sure to hit like, be sure to hit subscribe, and be sure to come back for more. New York Giants franchise. Peace.